Yes, dear student, next is processing device. Now, processing device, basically that is CPU, central processing unit. That is CPU. Now, this CPU is basically, you can say, brain of computer. Why this is called the brain of computer? Like our brain. All the thinking, you know, activities explain in our brain. So, we have we, all the logics, you can say, all the computations, everything, what is to everything takes place in our brain. Similarly, a, a for computer, whatever the processing part is there, is it's always taking place. You know, that part of that job is always taking place in the CPU. That is why it's called the system unit also. Now, uh, this CPU is in, uh, not alone. This CPU is having a number of, you know, devices inside it. Or you can say, uh, may basically controlled you know, by a number of parts. Like there is a memory unit is there. There is a, you know, input and output control units are there for that. Now, basically, CPU has three main parts. Now, CPU is divided into three basic main components. Now, what are those three basic components? First is a arithmetic logical unit. You can see that is ALU. The next is control unit. That is CU. And next is memory unit. Okay. So, you can see this. These are the three main things. If you see the diagram also, if you, if you see the diagram, you will come to know in the diagram also, this three input. And from input, you can give this to the data you give to CPU and then comes the output. In CPU, you can see that these things, ALU, that is called arithmetic logic unit. That is at the last and shown in the figure. Then you can see control unit in the middle and at the top, you can see that is the memory unit. All these three combined together and forms the CPU. Now let us see in, uh, one of each each one of them in detail. Now how exactly this uh, works? Now if I say about the you know, you know arithmetic logic unit. Now if you see this arithmetic logic unit, you will come to know. Just let me tell you. Yeah, arithmetic logic unit. It uh, it the, that is a part of CPU. Okay. Now all the arithmetic, now when I say arithmetic, arithmetic means your addition, subtraction, multiplication, all this, you know, uh, are part of division and all this part are part of your arithmetic operations, you know. Uh, so if you want to do addition of two numbers and you give, so this unit uh, becomes very active and actually in computers, this unit it plays a very important role, especially in CPU. This is the major or you would say very, very important unit and that is working actually. Now, what is logic? Logic, when I say logical operations, like we say less than, greater than, we are comparing, okay, equal to. So, in that kind of uh, numericals, if you are giving where there is a comparison and it is trying to solve and give you the output, who is doing so? That is ALU in that logical unit is doing so. That is the both the combining together. That is called as ALU, that is arithmetic and logic. So, this, it takes place in the CPU. The next that is control unit. Now control unit, the name from the name itself you can understand how control unit will be working. Now control unit basically is the unit where you know that is uh, chooses and interpret the program's instructions. Now it whatever the instructions are given, whatever the instructions we are providing to the computer, it is uh, trying to interpret them and trying to convert them. We know that uh, computer understand the language of zero and ones. Okay, that interpretation of your English into 0 and 1, or, you know, or the machine language is being done by the control unit here and you try to coordinate the execution. Like if you are given some numbers, numericals to be, you know, uh, given to the arithmetic logical units or provided to the memory. So it is acting as a mediator, you can say, your control unit and coordinating the functions and, you know, every function, not only the conversion, but every function and the, between this, a memory as well as the ALU. So the next is the memory. Now memory, what our memory is doing? <laughs> our memory is doing and that is storing. You know, it's storing. There are storages, some are temporary and some are permanent. I hope whatever I am teaching, you are not storing it into a temporary memory, but it's into your permanent memory. Am I, am I right? So, yes. So similarly, our memory unit is doing so. Yeah, memory unit is uh, storing some data for temporary, temporarily and some is the permanent in this. We will be discussing the storage devices in detail. Then you will come to know 
you know uh, literally very very important work is done by this unit now uh, to sum up with the final functioning of this uh, processing unit uh, the what are the basic functions now the processing uh, basically uh, that is this unit is doing what arithmetic and logic performing this operations of arithmetic and logic operations this is doing next is maintaining the order and regulatory activity of the computer i told you this is a brain the maintaining the order like what is coming what activity you have asked you know it to maintain that order has to be there and regulate the all the operations whatever is there it is regulating all that activities here this is the main thing this is doing you can say uh next uh, important thing is um uh, what it is doing that is we are directing the sequence or and the operations this is again a very important thing that is directing the sequence or and the operations of the flow of data now uh, which which data to be processed when what which will come next the flow of data means how the data will be stored how the output will be shown on the screen everything is being managed by this uh, you know our cpu and the, the all these things is being done by this processing device now next with interpreting instruction and giving the commands yes now whatever the commands you have given trying to and get the meaning of it and try to give it to, to the next uh, you know their uh, internal units so this is being also managed by the cpu next is uh, communicate with the input and output device for the transfer of data yes whatever is the uh, data is being given to the computer that is being communicated and then that uh, that is being shown on the your screen you know that data is being transferred that information is transferred and shown on your scene uh, sorry on your screen that is being done by this processing unit only so i hope this is quite clear to you all and in case you have any any doubts you can comment if you like my video don't forget to press like button subscribe the channel thank you